Hey guys, I just wanna give you a midweek update uh, to the main yard. You can see I've made some changes. It's quite messy right now because I've been going through some things, but we have some upgrades going on in the bee yard. Uh, we have some, uh, I need to get a medium there. Uh, but anyway, upgrades nevertheless. I still have a couple more hives that I wanna transition over. I, I really, really, really like these hives. Uh, I plan to go way more in depth with them as I get used to working them. I wanna get a little more uh, comfortable with them before I start sharing information with you all. I don't like to just uh, guess at things. I, I like to know how they work. So far, they are absolutely awesome. Uh, I'll show you one piece back here. They have these, this one's actually locked out. You can see this red tab here, which is this. This red tab replaces this. This is the main part on your pollen trap. So all your, I'll show you here. So this is all, if I can get it to come out. See, right there. So that means all of this, hey look, oh my goodness, that's a hive beetle. That was a hive beetle. Um, all right, well, that's good. The, I believe these also operate as hive beetle traps because they go down and can't figure their way back up. So we're gonna check that also here in the coming weeks. Uh, I just moved this hive, so you'll see all kind of like granulated sugar and stuff in it uh, from when I had sugar on it for overwintering. But anyway, uh, so I have a second one of those now. I have some frames that are sitting out that had some honey. You can see the bees here. Uh, had some honey in them that I'm just letting them kind of eat clean, feeding the bees just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I have a whole bunch of those uh, seven frame nukes. So I have four, three of them up at the Baldwin yard, which I know you guys uh, actually haven't seen in quite a bit. You guys haven't seen this yard in quite a bit. I have no hives on this back row. This is all just like supplies right now. Uh, we suffered three deaths of hives. Uh, I think in this yard, I think two equated to, they were, uh, one was a nuke uh, and two were big high, bigger hives. The two bigger ones were, uh, I believe the queens had failed and I missed them. That's a, a rookie thing on my part. I missed the queens. They were, one was sitting here and I had one over here. So I, anyway, so they were small, didn't have enough to cluster and that's all she wrote there. So live and learn there. I know to uh, keep track of my bees a little more. I was also very late on treating with oxalic acid. Uh, so I had some really high mite loads coming into fall, uh, but in fall I treated. This year I'm doing knockback treatments and all that stuff. So I'll get into all that in a, about a week or so once I start. Uh, the bees are just starting to pull in pollen here in Maryland. So, you know, it, it, in total, we're going pretty good. You can see I'm packing some woodenware away to go for these. Um, I hope if I have this deal that comes through uh, to get these moved up to uh, somewhere up north. That's why I have these. They're kind of like transport hives. They're, they're really nice. They're sealed. They're almost zero maintenance. Um, but anyway, so that's the plans. I have all kind of plans for those that you guys will see as you stick along uh, throughout the channel. Uh, but yeah, so nothing too crazy tonight. I just wanted to kind of share with you all my uh, new addition to the bee yard. I've got like 14 of these in total, something like that. Uh, so I, I figured this was the one-time investment. I did the calculations on what it cost for me to buy a hive like that minus that gym and that gym. This is just taking a medium into a, a deep because it's a cheap option and it's awesome. Uh, so the cost of all of this brand new to one of these brand new is about like one and a half. So you'll spend probably another $75 or so depending on where you shop. But it's out of plastic, it's insulated so you don't have to worry about winter weather. And that pollen trap alone, which you can see open in half right there and here, uh, is worth every dollar. And if you were, were to buy a, a pollen trap of this magnitude for this hive, you'd be looking at 60 to $80 right there. So if you basically calculate for a pollen trap on each one, you break even. But if you calculate for, it'll outlast how long the wooden is, no matter what you do, it's a great buy. So, so far I'm very pleased. As you can see, I, I don't have tags in them yet, but 
there's a lot to come with them. I'll have a chest mounted video here soon of me going through them to show you guys how user friendly they are. Uh, they've got beautiful feeders in the top of them. So I, I think that'll work out pretty well. But anyway, that's all for tonight. I just want to give you a midweek update. Uh, as far as vaporizers go, so far I'm only caught up to the 17th of last month on vaporizer orders. Uh, I have all this stuff prepped minus two pieces that are coming in. Uh, really, it's one piece for the first batch of 50. And then after that, it'll be, you know, several hundred before I'll run out of supplies again. Uh, I've had all kinds of issues with these things, uh, getting parts in, but we've continued to, to chug on and prep the parts and, and get there. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. You guys can keep reaching out to me. You know, I, I don't mind answering emails, phone calls, text messages. Uh, I'll keep you all in the loop as, as far as I know. Uh, I'm expecting this shipment to be in, if not on Friday, on Monday. So then I'll work all next week fulfilling and shipping orders uh, to hopefully get us called up as far as I can. I'd love to be able to have these in stock in the near future, which means filling our deficit of about 140 units right now. Uh, so anyway, just a quick update and thanks for watching.